Well, let's bring you some health stories now. The World Health Organization says Nigeria has the worst mortality rate in the world with about 512 maternal mortalities per 100,000 births. Uh, the rising figure is a cause for concern and experts are keen to curb the situation. Omolola Ololade has details in this report. According to the Nigeria Demographic and Health Survey, for every 100,000 live births, 512 women die while trying to give life. These deaths are not just numbers. While some mothers are alive to experience the joy of motherhood, others lose their lives in the process and many of these deaths are preventable. Medical experts say some of the deaths are complications following being pregnant and then childbirth. A term they refer to as postpartum hemorrhage. Postpartum hemorrhage is the commonest cause of the severe bleeding and it just simply means bleeding after childbirth. So this happens when a woman after birth, the uterus didn't contract enough to stop bleeding following delivery. It's said to contribute to one quarter of maternal death globally. That's postpartum hemorrhage right now. And Nigeria alone, 22% of our maternal deaths is out of postpartum hemorrhage. And sadly, Nigeria contributes to 19% of the global body. A Nigerian woman has a 1 in 22 lifetime risk of dying during pregnancy, childbirth, or postpartum. Whereas in the most developed countries, the lifetime risk is 1 in 4,900, according to the World Health Organization. While a good number of the maternal death in Nigeria may be attributable to medical negligence, experts say that the cultural aspect of things must evolve and mothers must totally rely on healthcare providers to help with childbearing. Let the, um, the, 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 the communities and the, the health facilities and the professionals help you with delivering your baby in good health so that it can survive indeed and thrive in the future. Um, that's one of the advice we can give to the mothers. Um, it's important that they know because of course we may work on building up those facilities, we may work on deploying all sorts of professionals. That cultural aspect of things also need to, to evolve. So that's an important aspect. Not the first one, but an important one. Maternity care is pertinent in putting an end to avoidable debt. Hence the need for the prioritization of quality health care and services by the country's health care system, both in the private and public sector. Omolola Ololade, reporting for News Central.